Yeah, so uh, my name's Mark. What's your name? Stephen. Stephen, thanks for talking to us, Stephen. Uh, before we go any further, do we have permission to film and do we have permission to upload to social media, including YouTube? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, Stephen, so um, I'm going to ask you a question. It's from a quotation, uh, and it says, it, the question is, has God created man in his image, or has man created God? What would you think about that? A bit of both. Well, yeah. Can you explain a little further? Well, uh, you can follow the Bible and its teaching, but no one's better than anyone else right. in God's eyes. Yeah. In God, yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's a really interesting answer because I agree, no one is better than anyone else because I believe we're all created in uh, by God in God's image. Yeah. So you sound like you brought the Bible in straight away. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. So what does being a Christian mean to you? Well, um, you see, I was, um, I'm Catholic. Yeah. I was uh, baptized, uh, christened, I think called Holy Communion, um, uh, confession, and then, um, what's that, confirmed. Yeah. But as I am Christian, I think uh, people just, um, what would you say, um, earth, do their belief. Um, every, everyone's got. A, it's a different way of faith, uh, expressing your faith. Yeah. So, um, as a Christian, I don't know. It's Christian first, Catholic first. Right. I think we we all believe in Jesus, but I think the one thing is, no one blames it onto the devil. No. <laughs> okay. So you brought in uh, Jesus on one hand, you yeah. brought in the devil uh, yeah. on the other hand. Um, what happens after we die? I believe that uh, there's a life after, because mankind, over the centuries, what we've learned and that is true. And this is going back like thousands of years. So I think mankind is not wrong. People have believed that for my, you know, for centuries. Yeah. So I believe that there is heaven, there's a place where we all end up, yeah. Okay, so uh, you, you you said there is a heaven, I believe there's a heaven as well. I also think there's a hell, and you mentioned the devil. Because um, I grew up a lot with things like, um, you know, the devil, the, the black angels, and uh, which I think them teachings might go hundreds of years back. It's still relevant, yeah. but I think as a Christian, we have to look forward. Yeah, yeah we have to look forward, and um, with our belief, I think we change our own perception of life and what we're doing, and it spreads with peaceful yeah. belief. Do you know, it's really interesting because the more I've read the Bible, the more my beliefs have changed, actually. And that's what uh, it speaks of. It says you become a new creation and God gives you a new heart and, and you become... You're born again. Exactly, and you become yeah. born again. Yeah. So um, how what does it mean to be born again? Uh, how, how does somebody get born again? Uh, you start off, we're all on a journey, yeah. but through your life and you keep to the Testament, the Bible, and sort of life as it is not a, a conception of what life is that um, if we can look to a life after death that's the start but as I said uh, we're living but eventually we've got to die and that's a nice freedom that we can believe that we're going to go to a place special where we all meet up does, does, it, does everyone does everyone go to that special place no matter what we've done or but the teaching of Jesus is yeah. if you believe in his teaching then there's a good chance you'll go there no one really knows but it's a concept of that we um, we hope to meet up in a better place yeah. than we are now. Do you know, um, it's, it's been interesting. You may disagree with me, or, or maybe you agree, but you said nobody really knows, and, and, and we hope. And I have a hope and, uh, and, and pray, but my hope is an expectation, because I know that I'm going to go to heaven. Um, so, basically, when Jesus spoke about being born again, he was saying that the only way 
to get to the Father, the only way to get to heaven, to have salvation after, is is through through the Father. It says John John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And what happens after we all sin? I've told lies. Have have you ever told a lie? White lies. Uh, I only tell really bad lies when someone's asking something that they shouldn't know, that I don't want them to know. But, but I don't intentionally tell lies, but people all the time do. But you have done before. Yeah, we're all human. Exactly, you know. we, we've all done that. Yeah. I, I've stolen before. Have you ever stolen anything? Bits and bobs, <laughs> yes, yes. So, by your own admission, and I'm included in this, we are lying thieves. We've broken uh, the law, you know, we've broken... We're all human, uh, yeah. We have that sinful nature which it's comes from being it's human. Even belief through the Bible and these teachings to stop us doing that. Yeah. So we got the concept of good, bad and evil. Yeah. So, if, if we stop doing the evil, then you've got a chance... To believe, to understand. So, what what you're saying is is you've used words hope and chance, but I want you to have security. I want you to know. Because yeah, exactly. So, but more more than positive, I want you to be absolutely certain. So, I'm going to tell you, and you might know this, what Jesus did and um, how to exactly. So, and you're absolutely right. So, Jesus is God Himself, and He came down. Uh, God came down in the form of man, Jesus, as a baby. He grew up, lived a perfect life. We've broken the Ten Commandments, Jesus never did, never did anything wrong. He never got married, did he? He never got married, no, but but he never he never committed you know adultery. Jesus. Where'd he come from? Aramaic. Yeah, yeah. I call where'd he come from? Because I studied the Bible, but Jesus wasn't actually born in um born in um Judea or whatever you call it, uh, Israel. He, Bethlehem he was born, wasn't he? He grew up in um what do you call it? What's that country? He said he come from Nazareth, didn't he? Jesus was Nazarene. Yeah, but he's, he uh, he grew up in Egypt. Do you, do you know what I've heard that? You know, when the census and they went there for a bit. He, he, he left. Uh, Mary and Joseph went to Egypt when all them children were killed from Herod. Yeah. From the wise men. So he lived in Egypt. So that meant when he come back to uh, Jerusalem, Nazareth, people might not have saw him as Jewish or Israeli or whatever. They would have saw him as from a foreign country. And do you know, he's... Um and 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 people perceived him to be to be, even now you see saying how people saw him. People see him as different things. Some people say uh, he was just a good man. Some people say a, a politician, a teacher, maybe yeah, a teacher. Doctor. But, but Jesus, he all started off medicine and that from Jesus. But but Jesus himself was God. Yeah, uh, and and he lived a perfect life. Never did anything wrong. And then he went to that cross because it should have been us because we we've done the bad things. We broke. God's commandments, we've broken the law. With the cross. Yeah, he carried it, didn't he? He carried it. That was it. We were on a journey like him. Yeah. He suffered yeah. so the thorns and yeah. everything. Yeah, the thorns in his head. He was whipped before. And then he, was he, stabbed in the he was stabbed, yeah. And, and Basically, actually, the Roman soldiers, um, you know, played dice. Over his, for his clothing, yeah. That means he died with nothing. Yeah, they they, they cast lots for his clothing, didn't yeah, they? For his yeah. garments. That means he died. But what 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 was the point of it all? Why why did he die on the cross? Um, basically, to show us the way, and uh, you know, if you're criminal or whatever sickness, whatever age, whatever religion, sect, or whatever, he uh, he rose to dead for us. And uh, when Peter found him in the rock in the stone in the cave, cave um, you know the John and Peter actually went and found out the he, the power that he'd been resurrected, the empty tomb, dead, yeah. and he, 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 you know, he actually showed, came down, he showed he was God, didn't he? Form to them. So I'm going to ask you a question. This is quite a hard one. Just before he died and he gave his spirit up to God, yeah. he said three words. He said, it is finished. Do you know why he said that? I've never heard of that before. So, you never heard of that? Okay, yeah. He said, it is finished. And what that means, it's a legal term and it means debt paid in full. And like we were saying before, it should have been us on the cross because we've done the wrong, but Jesus took our punishment. And But if 
say we we robbed WH Smiths and um, we was in Birmingham Crown Court. I, I will only be quick. I can see you want to go away. Uh, we, but, um, the judge says you've you've stolen from the shops. You you've hurt people. You go into prison unless you can pay a, a ransom of a million pound. We couldn't do that. We couldn't pay that fine. But Jesus comes in the court There's and he no says he comes. He doesn't know how much money. But but Jesus on the cross paid our fine. He yeah. paid our ransom. And um, that blood, we could be. But it says in in the Bible, there's no forgiveness without blood. And He spilt His blood for us. I now, know. yeah. So we can go to heaven if, and this is the if, we accept His gift. Because it's not good works we do. We can't earn our way to heaven. It only comes through accepting what Jesus did. Did it says in Ephesians, we're saved by grace through faith, not by works, so that no one may boast. It is a gift from God. And it says in Romans, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So it's not our good works. It's nothing we can do to earn. We have to just accept Jesus. If, if he was on a plane, before you jump, you've got a parachute, and you land safely with the parachute. Without parachute, you die. Jesus is our parachute. We have to accept what he did, and we have to cling on to him, and then we're okay. you going to believe in Jesus, you know... You're not, you're, you're, you're saved, you've started to be saved, just a journey, and um, just carry on, um, friends, family, uh, talking to people, and that's a start, you don't just start from A and then... You know. that's, he, that's what he says. He um, he says in Philippians, if I'm remembering right, he says, "He who began a good work in you will bring it to completion." So he's just got a good work in you, and you become more and more like Christ. He gives you a new heart, and he works on you. It's called sanctification, and you become more like Christ, and that's the journey. But if we go back to what you said right at the start. No one become enters the kingdom of God unless you're born again. So you have to be born again. And that's why we're out <laughs> telling people. Yeah. So I'll ask you one more question. Follow the teaching. Yeah, I'll ask you one more question and then I'll let you go because you've been very patient with me. <laughs> yeah. Have you been born again? I think I have. And from that time, things s- slow and then it got faster. I went over these churches, Potter's Lane. Yeah, yeah. And I've, they talk to me, and I, I, I indulge with them. But I've had a, a bit of an illness, so I can't get out like I used to. Yeah. But um, yes, I'm. Ha- I wanted uh, the Christian faith to be one happy family. Yeah. Do you know what? that sounds really, really good? But I'm just concerned because you said I think I have. But like if I said to Mark on the camera, he knows he has. Yeah. I know I have. But you said you think you have, yeah. and we don't like to gamble and be unsure. No. We want, and you, you know, with your eternity, <coughs> either heaven or hell, don't take a chance. You want to know that you've been born again. So, how do you do it? What do you have to do? I live, I live alone. I've got many friends, yeah. um, but I, th- I have been born again. Yeah. But with me. I don't socialise, I don't know when to tell me. Yeah. But that thought has transformed my life yeah. and uh, a lot of basic uh, worries and, you know, um, what would you say, um, non-positive and, and that. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do, you have a, do you have a Bible, Steve? Stupid thoughts have left me. Yeah. Good, great. So I'm yeah. a whole person. Yeah. Not a segment of faith to do with... Yeah. You know, people who don't believe in Jesus, mm. we have to get on with them, whatever. You know. Yeah, we we do have we do have to get on with them. We've got to show love to everyone. <coughs> but the only way to kingdom is to be born again. So, um, do you have a Bible at home? No. No. But uh, as a seven-year-old, yeah. I um, read the Bible. Things like uh, I know at the time Noah's Ark and all yeah. things like that. Would would it be okay if I gave you a Gospel of John? It's only one book of the Bible, the Gospel of John. Good, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you if that's okay with you, yeah. and this it tells you all about Jesus' life, his birth, his but death. John, John it, was a fisherman who uh, baptized Jesus with the same way. You're thinking John the Baptist who baptized Jesus. This is John, um, son of Zebedee. He was one of the disciples. Yeah. Um, he walked with Jesus. He lived with him. He he, he shared life with him. Yeah. It, 
every day he was one of his disciples one of his closest friends and he tells you all about his life so listen uh, thank you for talking to me What's your name? Mark thank you Mark yeah. and thank you sir and all you have to do no, is be born I'll again again yeah again. I'd like that well I'll give you one of these because it's got, <coughs> it's got an email address on <coughs> you just need to add .com it's got a phone number on there as well uh, it's not my phone number it's for the pastor of our church uh, what church is it? it's Bethany Pentecostal it's on South Road yeah. do, do you know it? I know yeah yeah, yeah. so not far from here if, we'll be praying for you as well if you want to be born again all you have to do is just w w when you can as soon as you can because you don't know when your life will end you could be hit by a bus yes, so as yes. soon as you can ask, say to God you're sorry for what you've done and ask him <coughs> to forgive you and 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 uh, to come into your life. All right. Yeah, um, do it. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you for I'm talking to me. Name. All right. Thank you. Can, can I pray for you? Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Would it embarrass you or anything like that? No. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for Steve. I thank you for his willingness and his patience to talk to me and to listen to me. I thank you for um, for, for for opening his heart, Lord, that he, he's, he's heard the gospel today. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, that he will uh, accept you, that today will be the day of salvation, that he will invite you into his life and that he will uh, say sorry for what he's done and uh, ask you to, to, to come into him, to, to forgive him, and that he'll receive your free gift of salvation. Lord, bless Steve, bless this man, Lord, and, and just uh, enter into his life, Lord. Amen. God bless. God bless you, Steve. Thank you.